In December, we had taken a look at App Agent, which is an agent that lets you simply deploy autonomous AI workflows into your phone. This is where you can automate different things with applications using GPT-4 Vision. Now, today I bring forward a new and better approach to deploying agents on your phone. Introducing Mobile Agent. It's an autonomous multimodal mobile device agent with visual perception. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. It has been tested across the Mobile Eval benchmark, and from this, it showed that the mobile agent succeeded on various different tasks to perform actions with, and we can see that it did quite well autonomously with applications like Google Chrome, Alibaba, you have Amazon Music, Gmail, Google Maps, as well as Google Play, and so many others. You can see that from this, it is showcasing the instruction that is given to the agent, and it actually performs it efficiently and effectively. Now. Take a look at this video demo, which is showcasing what you can actually do with mobile agent as to how you can deploy these autonomous multimodal mobile device agents. In this case, you can have these agents deployed on your phone to accomplish various different tasks. In this case, we're looking at finding a video related to Stephen Curry and commenting about it. So it sources through YouTube to find some sort of video related to Stephen Curry, where it's giving some sort of highlight and it comments something related to that. Now it's going on TikTok, liking videos, swiping through it, and it's doing this autonomously based off the prompt that you gave it. Now this is something that utilizes the state of the art MLLM GPT-4 vision, and this is a text detection module for localizing text and an icon detection module for localizing icons. So this is how it's able to detect what app it needs to basically open up with based off the prompt or the task you can say, as well as looking through different types of text to function based off the task that was given. Now, the primary function of this mobile agent is to perform actions autonomously on the mobile device. This is where it can interpret instructions generated by GPT-4 Vision. And this is definitely revolutionary because it could definitely revolutionize the way we use our phones and how we can use AI agents deployed on our phones to accomplish more intricate tasks in the future. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring Mobile Agent further as we go into showcasing some of the capabilities based on it. And we're also going to take a look at how you can get started with it and comparing it to App Agent. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Mobile Agent, which is an autonomous multi-modal mobile device agent with visual perception. It's leveraging this visual perception tool for accurate identification and localization of visual and textual elements. This is something that we saw with uh, app agent but it wasn't actually able to navigate different applications through this localization method it's something that it was able to do based off of gpt vision as it navigated through various texts not through icon localization this is something that differs from app agent in comparison to mobile agent because mobile agent navigates through mobile apps autonomously through this textual element as well as this visual element of localization of icons and text now this is where you can navigate through mobile apps without the need of a system specific customization it achieves this remarkable accuracy 
as well as completion rates, even in challenging scenarios like multi-app operations. Some of the key features we can see is that you have pure visual solution, which is independent of XML and system metadata. You also have unrestricted op operation scope where you can focus on different types of multi applications. You also have the ability to multiple have the ability to have multiple visual perception tools for operation localization, and you don't need to use exploration and training. This is just simply a plug and play application where you can operate and do various sorts of things. We can see in this demo where you give it instruction, search the result for today's Lakers game and create a note to write a sport news for this result. So in this case, it will go through Google to source what the scores are, what the results of the game is, and it sees that the Lakers face the Bulls and it finds what happened in that game so that you can see that the Lakers destroyed the Chicago Bulls and from this it goes back onto your phone goes to the notes and writes what happened so in this case it stated that the Los Angeles Lakers won against the Chicago Bulls with a final score of 141 to 132 and it's super smart in my opinion and it's able to do a lot of more a lot more intricate tasks compared to app agent and this is something that we're going to explore as you go further into the research paper so one thing you want to keep in mind if you are to install this you can't actually use this on your iPhone or any sort of Apple device you're gonna need to have the Android debug bridge I'm pretty sure if you are to jailbreak your phone you will be able to download this and access this on your phone but if you do not have uh, the jailbreak version of an iPhone then you can simply just download Android debug on an Android phone and you won't be able to do this with your Apple iPhone unless if you have a jailbreak but if you do you can follow through with these instructions it's fairly easy to do so it's similar to what app agent actually did in terms of its installation they have a quick startup method which is really similar to what mobile agent is doing so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at this where you'll need to download a couple applications onto your computer once that is done you need to connect it to the mobile device and run it on that and it's super easy to do so so if you're interested take a look at this there's possibly a lot of videos online showcasing this as well in this case we're just going to be exploring some examples and as well as going into the research paper to explore how this basically functions let's take a look at the framework of mobile agent so we get a better idea as to how this actually operates it's using the advanced MLLM GPT-4 vision, which is a text detection module and an icon detection module. Now, we all might know this, but GPT-4 vision actually lacks location capability. So it's using external tools that are used for operation localization. This is something that will help fill that gap in so that it can function in various aspects. We can see this in this self-planning and self-reflection example where it's utilizing this operation localization module. Now let's just zoom in so we get a better idea. Now first let's start off for the text localization. It's an OCR tool and it's going to identify the text positions and you can see this in this example over here. It's able to focus on various scenarios obviously but th this is where the agent can actually reselect, click directly and choose among multiple instances. For different types of icon instructions or localization it can basically focus on icon detection and it uses clip and this is where the agent provides different attributes and it grounds dino identifications to basically focus on icons and select the regions that have the highest similarity for a click. This is where it will focus on the best context for what the icon will look and it will select that icon based off the prompt that you gave it. It's a little complicated, but it's a framework that enhances GPT-4 vision by accurately localizing operations using its visual tools so that it can navigate your apps. Now I'm not saying that this application is some sort of godly AI agent because it's truly not. It's not at that level yet but I could say that it's, in go it's going in the right direction as you're able to do various instruction executions. You can open applications, you can click on the text, or you can click on areas on the screen where the text is actually located. You can focus on clicking on icons or positions where you can click on buttons or even execute various tasks. You can type text using GPT-4. You can even go scroll down, or scroll up. You can go back a file, exit, or even stop. This is basically going in the right direction where it can 
focus on autonomously functioning. Now, where I would actually want this to go further is where it can have some sort of semantic memory, where it can previously use the memory that was based off of the, like, use the memory that is based off of the previous prompts to execute future like tasks in my opinion that would put this application to another level and that's something that i truly hope that this is a project that can achieve something like that in the future now on this research paper they have stated a lot more information as to what you can actually do with this i only talked about the brief instructions that you can work with with this mobile agent but there's various other things that you can do so i truly recommend that you take a look at this research paper so you get a better idea as to how you can utilize it but in this case they also have a lot of evaluation metrics different examples as to what you can do with it where it showcases different use cases and it explains how it's basically functioning based off of those different use cases so definitely recommend you view through these different examples as well as this research paper because it gives you a lot more information than this video so with that thought guys i'll leave all these links as to what i used in today's video in the description below make sure you check it out because i truly believe that this could be something that could definitely help you out in your day-to-day -day task while you use your phone obviously but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord where you can access various different subscriptions for free now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI, I truly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. There is always a lot of content being posted here on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, make sure you also subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.